see Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals taking on Tua Tungavailoa and the Miami Dolphins. From the home of the 2021 AFC champs, there's a look inside newly named Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati, Ohio. Tonight, it's on to week four as we've got a good Thursday night matchup in store between the Miami Dolphins and the Cincinnati Bengals. To my left, Charles Davis. And Charles, you focus on this Bengal team entering play. They've got to be pleased with a start to this season. Obviously, a perfect three. Okay, we're going. Yeah, the uh, the Lions are. Um, Lions have some problems. I'm going to let this one be a kneel down. They'll bring Joe Burrow out. That Lions defense is so abysmal. Jared Goff isn't good, but that offense has been fine. Had a good season so far, Joe Burrow. Um, it's, it's been a couple weeks since we picked this up. So it'll be interesting. We'll um, think we're going to start off. We're going to start off with a run, though. Will there be a podcast? I don't know. Jordan's not been feeling good. Um, I talked to him this morning at work. He was not sounding great. Okay. Now it's time for the pass. Okay. Uh, go back to the ground, see if we can... Mixon does not get there, and Lyle Collins has some form of an injury, and we have to punt. Kevin Hubert, send this one away. Expecting Michigan State to lose by 30. And down goes Tyreek Hill. I don't know. That game's always goofy. Michigan State's defense is not good. Their pass defense is really not good. There's two up. So far for this year, 63 and 96, 87 yards. Or 800, 877 yards. Jesus Lord. Al Collins with a bruised sternum. Will not be able to return. And hope that what sunk them last week resolves itself this time around. Um, certain cover one. And press and. I don't know what that throw by Tua was. We're just going to keep press coverage till we get burned. When you get a defense that puts together a performance like that this early in the year, well, that sends notice to the rest of the NFL. Edmonds, six-yard rush. That they're going to be a force to be reckoned with. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Out of the gun on third down. Here's Tua. Sam Hubbard makes a tackle. Sack DJ Reader. I'm sorry. Hey, either Reader or Sam Hubbard. Tua goes down. Just held on to that ball forever. And both teams go three and out to start the game. Thomas Morstead on to punt. We saw him a lot in real life last night in the Steelers-Dolphins game. Taylor, down. About the 34, okay. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. As mentioned, this one of the hottest teams in the NFL, riding that winning streak into this one. But now playing here on Thursday night, do you think? Let's try something a little different. Run outside off of the um jet sweep. 
is now you get that short week. And off to Boyd. When a team's playing as well as they are, just couldn't read the block right. My bad. I'm rushing no gain, single high safety. Here you go, bud. Uh, thanks, thanks for stopping by, Caleb. Have a one, have a good night. Um, assuming you're going to work tomorrow, have a good day at work if you do. Burrow to Tyler Boyd. Tyler Boyd gains 15 down to the 49. And off to Joe Mixon. Mixon grabbed, thrown down after a gain of five. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. The Bengals hit three and zero here in the month of September, and they coming on a pretty good roll here. Winners of three straight. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience display in that victory flushed out right and he can't and and Ginkle gets a sack also two just had nowhere that I wanted to throw it to they come out in the same formation just came from the outside on third down burrow binds and the pressure gets to him again it's again no one that I really like dropping the hammer off the edge it's two sacks see Kevin Huber again here Dolphins probably the best team that we see Tyreek shakes off one tackle doesn't get past the second down at the 18 first and 10 Miami coming out for their second drive and they are losers of two straight coming into this Thursday night game is it more difficult CD and Edmonds rushes nothing. It's the 18. That you've had throughout the season that caused you to have the record that you're having. You can't really get those set. So now second and 10. And maximize what you've been doing well. And another rush of no gain. Forget our running back rotation. This guy has a hot hand, and they wrote him to a victory. Those are things you have to look out for. Second, third and 10 for the Dolphins. And uh, Wilson can't hold on to the contact. Tua is 0 for 2. Fourth and 10. Another three and out for the Dolphins. Taylor gets it at his 29. And gets up to the 40. 12 yard return. This offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Yeah, start, try and find something going here. Half, but you love this game as a defensive guy. Zero to zero. We'll see if the offense can get going on this drive. But you know how they talk about music to your ears? How about what it does for your eyes? Four yard gain. That's right. These teams are locked in and going at it. No points going up on the scoreboard. I'm loving it. You're exactly right. Well, switch over though to an offensive mindset for a moment. What do they need to do here to get on track and get some points? second and six play? A couple of ways. Number one, you pull out something that maybe they haven't seen before. Coaches always talk Flag about down. This is probably a holding. Maybe Will negate the first down, my guess. It does. I'll put it second and sixteen. Second and 16 after the holding penalty. Now it's Burrow. To Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase down. The 47 makes it a third and three. Still a nice 13 yard pickup. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. But that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relation to. Yeah, you need three yards for a first down. And let's face it. Joe Mixon gets the edge, gets to the 46 of the Miami Dolphins. 36 seconds left in the first quarter.
first down. Here's Burrow. Throw left side here, taken in by Asi Asi, the tight end. Yep, Asi Asi gets it, gets about a gain of seven. And second and three now, end of the first quarter. Start of the second now. And off to Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon. Gain of. Eight. There we go. Seven, eight. gonna run this one for a first down and step out of bounds gain of 13 it was good good defensive play by the um good coverage at least by Dolphins and dump off to Joe Mixon gain of three They get second and seven from the 15. Mixing, up the Mixing. stuck, gain of one. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win. Marchese open in the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. Gives us a six nothing lead here with 523 remaining in the third. First points of the game come in just after the beginning of the second quarter. He was able to move around and found some vision to throw the football. And how about how he ended it? Boy, he had some zip on that throw. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to have an arm like that. Results in the touchdown here. Great play offensively. Evan McPherson's kick is up and is good. 7 nothing Bengals. Evan McPherson's kickoff is up. Into the back of the end zone. And they will not get a chance to return. This no chance to return. Tua comes out again from the 25. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything. Haven't ran a whole lot of blitzes yet. But in the yards category, let's see if they can do better here on this drive. See what happens. It'll be Edmonds to begin. Edmonds gains of about four. Edmonds. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. And Tua's first completion goes for a first down. Gain of six. He is one for three. Has not been helped by his def or his. And that one's to Jalen Waddle caught. Dobie Awuzie. With tackle. And ta good play. And Logan Wilson on Edmonds tackle another game of six, four. I mean. And. Uh, to Gaskin. That's Gaskin. Rush of 10 for a first down to the Bengals 33. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. Miles Gaskin still in the backfield. Two under center. Another run to Gaskin. He fights through tackles for a gain of five. Two is still under center. Miles Gaskin still in the backfield. Two a throw and is sacked. Loss of six. Sam Hubbard with his first solo sack of the night. It's kind of a prayer reach because Tua started rolling away. 
This is a good time to call a blitz, in my opinion. Blitz does not get there. Miles Gaskin underneath. Only gains seven. Not enough. Sanders out. Kick is up. It's good and Dolphins are on the board. <laughs> what was 35 doing there? He got hung up on something. 219 remaining in the half. Evans will be able to return this one. And he gets out to the 37. If he broke one more tackle, he was gone. Good return. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. Joe Mixon and the Bengal offense ready to go back to work. First month of the season, those numbers pretty solid. Does he continue that? I think so, because when you come out of the gate this strong, that means that you have played. Oh, well, we're going to come with the jet sweep again, see what happens. So I wouldn't have any doubt that the Jamar Chase running this one. Chase in motion. Mar Chase, rush of about six. This one will take the clock down to the two-minute warning. Two minutes to play in the first half. Yeah, come out in under center, as we still got all three timeouts too. Tyler Boyd breaks one tackle and is down at the 46. See if we go through with a run here just to catch him off. Mixon. Gain of about five make it. Second and five down now. Mike McDaniel getting the offense looking at the tablet. First down, Tyler Boyd. Five yard gain. Six yards, sorry. Mixing in motion. Snap. Burrow escapes some pressure. Tyler Boyd goes out of bounds after a gain of one. So the completion results there in nine yards. Nine yards. Clock is stopped. Mixon's going to go in motion again here. Get the linebackers moving. Here's Burrow. And Aiden Hurst can't hold on to it. Look this play. If Joe Mixon can get around. This is a touchdown. And Burrow gonna throw again. Nope. Steps away to his left. Gonna... And he'll be out of <laughs> not how I wanted to do that, but all right. Taking matters into his own hands, and he picks up four yards in a first down. It's not quite how that play was meant. I wanted to go there, but actually, it's probably better because that got me out. But... Morgan, gonna take a timeout here. I'd like a touchdown. Field goal though would be great. Be fine too. Second and six from the 18. And I want Joe Mixon here. I got Joe Mixon. Got first and goal from the five. Big thing here is we don't want to take a sack. Burrow looking to pass. He'll buy some time. Yeah, nope. <laughs> like I said, don't want to take the sack. Here this close to the end zone and it brings up second down. A line of scrimmage once again the five as they get ready. Again from the five. 
Second goal, 16 seconds. Again, it's Burrow. It's Found Joe Mixon. Mixon. That time the completion goes We're just going to take the kick. We're set up with a third and goal. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. We're just going to kick it. I don't want to risk a second play. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. The kick is up. Kick is good. Take a seven-point lead again. Lead a now at 10 to three. And we'll be going into the locker room here momentarily so three points on the board as easy a field goal as you're going to get but i can see you shaking your head i love that peripheral vision of yours partner because to me if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six i get it but now even if you run and don't get in you're still setting them up to go a long field 98 99 yard drive how do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity so and we're going into halftime we'll see you here on the scoreboard on the other end Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, Charles, thanks very much. Welcome in, everybody, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's take a look at what we've got on tap as we wrap up the first quarter of the NFL season. Some great games coming up this weekend. The first one, a game in the NFL's International Series. The Minnesota Vikings taking on New Orleans. Set your alarms for that one, though. 9.30 a.m. Eastern, 6.30 a.m. Pacific. In the late afternoon games, all eyes will be on Las Vegas. A glitzy matchup there, where it'll be the Raiders taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. Then on Sunday night, the one everyone's talking about, the Chiefs and Bucks, the Super Bowl 55 rematch. Do not miss that one. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, Let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Gotten and Charles Davis. Okay, coach, thanks as always. And we're back. Third quarter. We're going to just punt this one over to the corner. McPherson's kick is up. And he will take a kneel down. Offense gets the ball to 25. Two is coming out. Leads the offense. To go back to work here in quarter number three. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure they're friends from the defensive side of the ball. Edmonds is in the backfield. Edmonds gets the ball, is kind of going nowhere. Eight of three, and Miami receiver Wilson is down with an injury. Three yards by Chase Edmonds. Second and seven for the Dolphins. Edmonds. Edmonds. Oh. Gets to the 38. Eleven yard gain. Incomplete. Okay. Thank gosh. Jalen Waddle, I thought, had that. Second and ten so now second for the Dolphins. I'm. I thought the I thought Tua or. Now Tua. Eluding the pressure right. And two are going to slide to a halt, but he will have the first. I've given up a lot of lows this year. A, t a nice tuck and run from two to get up to the Bengals 39. First and 10. 
Jalen Waddle fumbles it. And oh, the Bengals grab it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football. Jalen Waddle on his way down lost that ball. It becomes so opportunistic. And no matter what you're playing, in this case, wide receiver, you got to be careful. That's not a fumble. Because there is a phrase in today's football that we use all the time completing the process of the catch. Well, it's after you do and now as with every potential turnover that's not a fumble so just to make sure now the question was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose and is the video convincing enough to overturn it a lot of factors here remember you also need clear possession of the football afterwards this is a tough one to overturn that stays with the dolphins Yep, that one stays with the Dolphins. We're going to bring another blitz. Edmonds runs right into it. Man, at the line. Change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Four Another missed four. sack on Tua. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. As the second missed sack on Tua this drive. But it will leave him now with a third down situation. Looking to pass Tua. <laughs> Dump off to Gasicki. He only gains three. So much about this game is just understanding situations. And, then and they are sending out the kicking unit. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. Missed the block. Extra point is up. Or not extra point. Field goal is up. It's good. From Sanders. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission. And the lead is a little bit smaller for for us. Chris Evans gets a chance. Gets up to about the 32. Grind this game out. They're on a three game winning streak and right now looking good in this one as well. Four. And off to Joe Mixon. Mixon breaks on the first first play of the second half for us. It's to the 45. 45 yards on eight carries. Another handoff. Another gain of six. Sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. A good run got seven on first. We have Samaj P. Ryan in now. Second and three. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's in behind the receiver. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point the entire game. He has percentage completion wise way up. Not that time. Burrow on third down. Dancing to his left. And that's going to be incomplete. Incomplete. Got to punt this one away. It's fourth down. Here's Kevin Huber now. As he's on to punt for Cincinnati. Kevin Huber's punt is up. Downed at the eight by Kevin Huber, or not by Kevin Huber, but by that guy. Fantastic punt, and for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? 
the best ones do what we just saw there. Work okay, Dolphins backed up at the eight. Got a long way to go. Here's Tonga by Loa on first and ten. That's out to the flat for Edmonds. Over to Chase Edmonds, gain of four. Second down, this is Edmonds. Run, Edmonds up to the 16. Give him four yards, third and two. Third and about two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Need two, Miles Gaskins in. On the bootleg here. Bootleg. Jalen Waddle gets the catch. He is up to the 38. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down. Dolphins in I formation. Chase Edmonds back in. Play action. Tua. Couldn't get the throw. Off. Second and 10. I like how you come to us and praise a defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. Mike Gasicki with his first catch of the game. It's to the 50. First and 10. They're a step ahead of their offensive counterpart. We have Chase Edmonds in the game. Edmonds, game of about two. Off sledding for him today. Tua, Tyreek. Just short. Try and throw on third down. Flushed out right. Duo on the run. Can't make the throw. The fourth and short. In the beginning of the fourth quarter, the Dolphins the only points of the third quarter. The short third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Down, fourth quarter, here's Tua. Tua throws the interception. Jesse Bates. We have the football at our 35. Yeah, he knows that you can't take a sack there, so he had to try and force one in. And another Samaj P. Ryan carry incoming. But he had to take the chance there, and this one wound up being intercepted. Actually, you know what? I want to take a shot. T. Higgins out there. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Nope, we gotta go to Hayden Hurst. And chunk yards off of a quick change. Just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game. Want to try and get a quick throw in there? It didn't work. It's all right. Let's get a run in here. Got some AJP run. And off. Cut back. P Ryan gets a first down. Six. Thirteen remaining to the thirty-seven. Field goal would be 54 yards. Yeah, just kind of keeps this centered. Gonna run the clock down a little bit. Again, here's P. Ryan. P. Ryan, another run. Another first down. Two rushes for 23 yards. Is something wrong, Joe Mixon? Doesn't say. All right. We'll snap this with about five minutes remaining. 
Get out of here because of the Dolphins. I can at least get a field goal here. Insta Dolphins team that this is the probably the best team we've played I've played. P Ryan. Met at the line of scrimmage. The tackle made by Alandon Roberts. Chris Evans now. We will wait to snap this one. Our running backs are starting to get a little worn down. Evans. Gain of two. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two yard gain. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys. The under made the play. Four minutes. Under four fifty by the time this next ball is snapped. Under three fifty, I mean. Give to P. Ryan. P. Ryan has the edge. And they're knocking on the door now. As a good P. Ryan tackled down to the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and We see Chris Evans again. This is another one. This will be around three minutes when we snap this one. Up four. They'll run here with Chris the Evans. And he maneuvers his way down to the three yard line. Three minutes and three remaining. Holding. This one's going. Going back. Alex Kappa. Up for a hold. And timeout. <laughs> Clock will stop. As much as I don't want that. Here we go. A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again. Clock will stop for the Dolphins because of an injury. P Ryan. Second goal. Oh, five, six yards. Second goal from the 11, that holding penalty costly. But it also gives me a chance to run a few more seconds off the clock, I guess. So it's all dependent on how you look at it. This snap will become will come with under 220. B Ryan. And the two-minute warning happens. Get in the end zone. Samaj P. Ryan gets in the end zone. Game is over. <laughs> How you doing, Ty? How is your um? How's your honeymoon? Congratulations on the wedding. P. Ryan is up. Is over the goal line. Bengals touchdown. This game. Is on so ice. P. Ryan, his second rushing touchdown on the year, and the Bengals are about to make it four straight as they add to this fourth quarter. P. Ryan goes up. So well, we probably didn't really have to go up and over. Thank you for the. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because um, tier one sub tie. Uh, the eleven month streak, nineteen months total. Evan McPherson's kick is up. Gives the Bengals an 11 point lead. Dolphins. Eating, drinking way too much. It's wonderful. That sounds amazing. Um, where in Mexico are you? If you don't mind me asking. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. 
Pearson's kick will be returned by the return man. He gets up to the 27. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception. So to his pass, doesn't make it, doesn't get caught. That is all right with me. Top of San Lucas. I have not been there. I've heard good things about it. And they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that. And things not working for the Dolphins here. Dropped pass. Uh oh, this shifts the defense though. Doing nowhere to throw. Last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Gonna get a little stupid here. Tug of Iloa going for it on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it I don't think Tyreek decided he wanted that ball. Get the ball back. Field goal really ices this game. P Ryan cuts in and is down. You have an amazing view of the Pacific from your room. That's awesome. Who thought two would kind of suck? He's really bad in Madden. It's it's hilarious. In real life, he's like still serviceable. Madden, he is just absolutely abysmal. And third and three, a field goal. I mean, this game is already on ice. It's Maje P. Ryan <laughs> down to the three. Disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. First and goal from the three. And off to Wilcox. Tight end. The tight end slash fullback. Slut falls in. This game was. Want to stop it thanks for stopping in thanks for the resub um have a great rest of your your um honeymoon and once again brother congrats on the wedding i am uh sad that i missed it but guess what you're going to they have to because when you get to if you get to four and oh you're not just thinking playoffs now you're thinking about okay this team has the capabilities of winning a super bowl they could very well be the best team in the nfl at this moment i think they played the best i mean there have been a few hiccups offensively and defensively but probably the best team we've seen this right? game has the ability to get better weird one was a lot after the touchdown mcpherson on to kick this one away Pearson's kick is up kind of cornered it, it inside the five Guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. That guy's name, Igbenuzi. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. On first down, Tongue of Iloa. Catch. That's Wilson. A little too late. Down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. And another drop for the Dolphins receivers. Tribulations of being a quarterback in this league. It's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a scotia credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. And another drop. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Even with such a big lead, Another drop by the Dolphins wide receivers. Chase Edmonds, I believe, is who I saw. Again, they will throw it with Tungabailoa. He's got a man complete. 
Catch by Jalen Waddle. This is a again too little, too late. Well, and contains been broke. That's illegal. Legal forward pass. Can I accept that one? And they say he stepped over. Uh, when you see him in that position, you think he's become a runner. As a DB, you start to react towards the line of scrimmage. They can often throw it over. Miles Gaskin is out there. Second and 14. Other catch. This is, I believe, Tyreek's first catch. Too little, too late. Said it a few times. Down to the two and time's over. This game was a lot closer than what the uh, scoreline tells us. Remember the old adage, offense sells tickets, defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them with just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went the Dolphins to two field goals, we didn't open this game up until the end. Just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finish. And that will do it so for with the Dolphins in week four.